Good afternoon, everyone. This is Andrew Bateman with Heart to Worship Ministry Moments, and I'm just reflecting on Hebrews 10.35, which says, Therefore, do not cast away your confidence, which has great reward, for you have need of endurance, that when you have done the will of God, you may obtain the promise. And this is a powerful verse, as long as we understand it, right? Um, Therefore, do not cast away your confidence. Confidence in what? Confidence in the Lord, in His Word, in His assurances, in the inheritance that He has for us, in the callings that He has for us, in the giftings that He has for us, the ultimate confidence that we have in our Supreme King. Okay? Because that's what we need to look to as we deal with these earthly things, and that's what this verse goes on to say. Therefore do not cast away your confidence, which has great reward, for you have need of endurance. Well, first off, this is an indictment against the doctrine that, you know, when we come to the Lord, everything just gets easy and simple, and God is just concerned with our comfort and getting us through this life in a way that is, that's joyful and pleasing to us, right? Um, endurance, we endure things that are difficult. We don't endure things that we, we enjoy and we love and that make us comfortable. And the Word says that all who seek to live a, a godly life in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. We will, we will suffer hardships, but it says we have need of endurance so that we can make it through these things in a way that's pleasing and honoring to God. And we know from verses like Romans 5, 3, that, you know, it's rejoicing in trials. Um, it's counting it all joy when we fall into various trials. And this produces that patience, that endurance. And we know that we can count on it because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given us. So we're equipped to do all this. There's nothing I'm saying here that we got to struggle to do in our own strength. So it's a good deal. Anyway, so again, therefore do not cast away your confidence, which has great reward, for you have need of endurance, that when you have done the will of God, you may obtain the promise. Again, this is an indictment against that doctrine that says we're, we're here for God to cater to us. That when we have done the will of God, that's what we're here for, is to do the will of God. We have individual callings, we have individual um, characteristics that we are to use, both individually and corporately within the body, uh, to minister and to be built up and to build up in turn. And um, and it can be tiring. It can be difficult. It can lead us to, to, to crazy places. You know, I mean, if you look at the stories from missionaries who have gone over, and some of them haven't even really seen fruit from it. They they had what most would consider miserable lives, but they endured, and they did it because the Lord told them to. And that's why they could endure. There's some circumstances I've seen folks go through, and I'm like, there's no way that is humanly possible, and it's true. Okay? Um, but it says, so that when we have done the will of God, we may obtain the promise. Again, the promise is the same thing. It says that we're not to cast our confidence thereof away. The confidence in the assurances and the truth of God. When we walk with Him, He will take us through, He will see us through, and He will not only just send us on our way and give us our marching orders, but he'll, he'll go the course with us, and then we'll be made as he is, right? So that's what we have to focus on, the blessed hope, the, the fact that we are going to be made like him, and we're going to be face to face with him, heirs with the king, heirs with the Messiah. I mean, think about that. Anyway, it's good stuff. Hebrews is awesome, by the way. But, you know, a lot of us, too, we may say, um, you know, again, don't cast away your confidence, which has great reward, uh, for you have need of endurance. Endurance of what? Now, a lot of us here, especially in the Western culture, you know, we might suffer a little persecution here and there. We might have, you know, it talks about the manifold trials, and our manifold trials may be just, you know, the the things that most of us deal with. You know, we're all going to deal with loss at some point. We have difficulties in relationships. We have financial hardships and stuff. But a lot of us aren't experiencing what some of our brethren a world away are experiencing, right? You know, you, you think about Coptic Christians being led down um, the coast to be beheaded and things like this. And what are they doing? They're singing songs, they're singing hymns, they're praising and worshiping God, and they're praying for the ones who soon are going to be bringing a blade to their neck. Why? You think they're trusting in this earth? I mean, what's the point? If that's it, then it's all about to be over and it's just been a waste. They know that they have that inheritance and this is just the final measure of their endurance. And I see a piece that I pray I would live up to in such a situation, though I certainly pray that I don't have to, but again, the Lord's will is better than mine and better than yours and we need to submit to it his ways are higher than ours but anyway that's the whole point that when you have endured you may receive the promise they are being beheaded they're being tortured and that and this is the thing right after that verse in hebrews 11 it goes on to say it talks about the patriarchs and, and it's awesome it tells what faith does and how faith makes the walls of jericho fall and, and all these many different aspects but then it goes on to say that some of them didn't see the fruition of these promises some of them just had to endure difficult life circumstances. And then they were tortured. They were, they were sawn in two. All these horrific sounding things. But what does it say? It says they, they did that that they might obtain a better resurrection. What does that mean? 
that means that they may inherit the promises of God, you know. But for a moment are our trials and afflictions here, for eternity in the hereafter, right? So to, to suffer the reproach of Christ is actually a privilege. And I'm not saying that like I'm desiring to be a martyr. I just desire to do whatever the Lord's given me to do and to learn from whatever he gives me to learn from, be it suffering or anything else. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you all. Um, Again, therefore, do not cast away your confidence, which has great reward. For you have need of endurance. And if you don't cast away that confidence, if you keep your focus there, that endurance will be yours. That endurance will be supplied. Everything that you need, all things that pertain to life and godliness, will be yours through Christ Jesus. That when you have done the will of God, you may receive the promise. God bless you all.